So, good morning to everyone. So, I hope you are in good condition. And uh, before we start, shall we have a quick prayer? Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you very much for this wonderful morning. May you bless us and give us your Holy Spirit to understand what you want us to hear. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, yes, uh, thank you very much. We are here on a stream, but we will still continue reading the Word of God wherever we are. Because the days are evil and we need to be prepared what's going on and we need not to be deceived. And it says in Revelation 1, we shall continue reading on the first chapter and we are on the last verses uh, regarding John and his vision it says here I John your brother and partner in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endurance that are in Jesus was on the island called Pas Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet saying, Write what you see in a book and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus and to Smyrna and to Pergamum and to Thyatira, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Okay, so here we are seeing John on Patmos. Um, and he was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. It means this, that this is not the uh, Sunday, Lord's Day. Uh, it was God's Day, and Jesus Christ was the Lord of the Sabbath. And... He heard a loud voice like a trumpet and saying that write down this and send it to the seven churches and these seven churches was existing at this time but it's also symbolically pertaining to the stages that our churches would be into so there was a letter to the seven churches and we would be uh, reading those God willing. And verse 12, Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me. On turning, I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lampstand, one like a son of man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash around his chest. And the hairs of his head were white, like white wool, like snow, his eyes were like a flame of fire, his feet were like a burnished bronze refined in a furnace, and his voice was like the roar of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, from his mouth uh, came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face like the sun shining in full strength. And here John is astonished uh, by the word that was speaking to him and he turned who was speaking to him and he saw this uh, son of man like a son of man and what he was described was his hairs were white and long robe he was clothed with a long robe and a golden sash around his chest and uh, his head like white wool like snow so white so white hair uh, his eyes were like a flame of fire wow and his feet were like burnished bronze refined in furnace and his voice was like the roar of many waters we can see here purity of God and the majesty that he had and his right hand of course he has the seven stars and his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword what 
uncanny scenes like uh, a total um, uh, astonishment to him because the two edged sharp word and the word of God represent also uh, two edged more than sharper than a two edged sharp uh, sharp sword and his face like the sun shining in full strength you can see here that God's face is like the sun shining very um, very majestic and you if you are a sinner you will be burned of course we are all sinners and that's why we need Jesus Christ for full repentance that we can see Christ it's like Moses saw the back of God and his face was now shining when we saw God's face in Psalms we can see here uh, may we see uh, God's face we see God's face then our face will be shining when I saw him I fell at his feet as though dead but he laid his right hand on me saying Fear not, I am the first and the last, and the living one. I died, and behold, I am li alive forevermore, and have the keys of death and Hades. So what can we see here? The one John is seeing right now here is Jesus Christ, because he's saying here, uh, John was very ap afraid of this uh, vision. And when the voice came out from this uh, Son of Man, is saying that I'm Jesus Christ the one who discipled you John because in this description he is the first and the last you can see here in John 1 verse 1 and the word was was with God and the and and the word was God and in for John 1 verse 14 the word became flesh and then here saying I am the beginning and the end so he died and then he says here and I am alive forevermore so Jesus Christ's description fit unto this write therefore the things that you have seen those that are and those that are to take place after this so we can see here the benefits of the writings of John was not only for those events that are taking place at his time but also in the future as for the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and the seven golden lampstands that seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven lampstands are the seven churches so the, the stars are the angels and the golden lampstands are the seven churches so we can see here the importance that what God is um, Hand, hand thing in his right hand is a very important he had a message you know if an angel will be sent by God to us there is always a message and there is always an event that will take place you see the three angels message they are angels but they are messengers to represent uh, to represent Christ and they have a message and of course in the Old Testament people are visited by angels angels visited Abraham these angels visited Lot and Sodom and they have a message and they have an event that will take place and just like in here uh, just like angels visited Manoah and the wife they have also a message for us so let's see what's the message you can read in your revelation but thank you very much for listening and we will be ending here and before we end shall we pray thank you very much lord for uh, reminding us once again this new perspective the vision of john that you are the alpha and omega the first and the beginning who will uh, come to us and who was uh, died but alive now forever may we always praise you and thank you for the great things for dying on the cross for us to have another chance of second life forevermore 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you very much and God bless. Okay, let's look at the horses here. There is a horse that visited us. So let's see if he is uh, sleeping or resting. Let's wake him up. Hey, horse, what's up? Hey. Be cautious because he can kick us. So let's look onto this. So this one is a quick one. It's our friend. What's your name? Uh, he ate all our grasses today. Uh, thank you very much <laughs> for eating our grass. It's free mowing of the grass. Uh, okay, thank you very much and have a good day. <laughs>